right so this time i'm going to be as quick as i can with the gun chart again because i found a slightly quicker way again not something you need to watch this is something that you will have to do in the exam fresh every time this is why i'm going over it so many times activity one press enter move your mouse to the very bottom right hand corner until it turns into a black uh, x move it down and click and hold until it gets to activity six here i'm going to put 0 0.5 then i'm going to put 1.0 here i'm going to stop I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to click and hold into the first one, drag over to the second one, highlight both of them, and then again move my mouse to the very bottom right hand corner until it turns into a black X again. Click and hold and keep dragging, keep dragging until it goes out to 12. So as you can see, the numbers are incrementing. So there it's 9.5, then 10, 10.5, 11, 11.5, 12. Let go. Now, what I'm going to do here is highlight, click and hold from Y all the way back. I think it was B it stopped at to B. Then I'm going to simply put my mouse in between, double click until everything is resized. I'm going to go up here, increase the zero by one, then decrease the zero by one. Double click again. So everything is there. Activity one, I know is going to be three of these. So let me go and do this blue this time. This one is going to be three as well. This one, I believe it's five. This one, I believe it's five. This one, I believe is three. And this one, I believe the last one is five again. That's my Gantt chart for the first one, the initial Gantt chart again, done. To screenshot, press start, go SNIP, open the snipping tool, click on new, highlight the area you want. So I'm gonna want all of this here go back to your document so my document is going to be here you guys are going to have your document as well click on where it says initial task plan right click go to where it says paste or if you know the shortcut it's going to be control on your keyboard press and hold it down and then press v for victor once it's going to paste it just drag this part in so everything can be seen and that's it gantt chart done the actual task plan is going to be something we do afterwards whilst we're doing activities two, three, four, five, and six. So that's the task plan finish. Hopefully this was helpful as well. Thanks for watching.